<laughs> hey, American Pig. Boris here. Look at this bagel. Look good, yes? Would you eat this bagel? What else do we have, Choo Choo? Chinese. Chinese? Show them yours. Pig stomach. So it's pig a stomach. Stomach and soup. Garlic. Carrots. All right, guys, look, I'm going to take, for my mood stability, I will take some lithium. Good. I have a PTSD and I sleepwalk, and, um, yeah, I suffer from a little bit of uh, depression, believe it or not. Uh, but a lot of really funny people have been depressed. We did not know that, that Robin Williams is depressed. But um, lithium is almost natural. You still have to depend on a drug company unless you live in Texas where there's a lot of lithium naturally in the water. But, mm. So I taught Choo Choo how to make bagels yesterday. We had bagels yesterday and this morning. And Choo Choo bought some pig stomach somewhere that we were at. Where were we? Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. So this will be my first time. Mm. Be my first time trying the pig stomach. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to taste the soup. So, what else in this choo choo besides the obviously the pig stomach? What else is in this just, soup? Just a stomach. Well, what spices, seasoning? No, no, anything. No, just a stomach uh, traditional, you know. From but you soup. add garlic and oh, a little some... garlic. Mm -hmm. Chicken flavoring. Uh, this, powder. Is a this is a Chinese. How does it go? Qi? Goji berry. Yeah, goji berry. That's a superfood. Mm -hmm. It's better than it was this morning. Right. The the sauce. Yeah. But this will be my first time trying mm -hmm. the actual lining of the stomach. What we call tripe. I'm gonna try the goji berry here because I know it's a superfood and it's so healthy. <laughs> it's hard to you. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> well, I think of the stomach having acid and breaking down food and it's not the intestines it's not like it's chitlin or something like that now chitlin can be it depends on how it's prepared so here we have <laughs> one two three so yes yesterday we took a picture of it it looked like um before you cut it up it really resembled a lady part so i thought about that I don't think I was the only one would think that if they saw what it looked like. Maybe I'll put that as the cover thing, but here we go. <laughs> hmm. Soft. It's very popular in China. It's a bit expensive. It reminds me of a uh, foie gras. Mm -hmm. uh, almost uh, the texture is like pate in a way. Like a foie gras. You don't know this name, foie gras? Foie gras. Let me try it with the chopstick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's just, maybe it takes some getting used to. Like the first time you go to the UK and you drink a bitter beer, local beer, it's very bitter, like make you pucker up. It doesn't taste like that, but it's a similar experience. So this is the carrot that's cooked all day with the pig stomach. Carrots and corn are my favorite vegetable. I just can't get the pig stomach out of my mind. You know, in China, use the mm. stomach, uh, put the uh, little chicken mm. inside together well, to cooking. And the name is Du Bao Ji. My friend English Bob, another personality, mm -hmm. uh, he's actually Scottish. But uh, they have haggis in Scotland, and it's a sheep stomach stuffed with meat and barley. Could be other things too, but it's definitely a dish that you could experience in Scotland that might not be made as good elsewhere. So this, now, <clears throat> Choo Choo, you normally would have a lot more material at your house in Changchun City, right? Yeah. So here you're dealing with what you found at the Asian market or online and how you've arranged their kitchen and things that I already have in my kitchen here in Tennessee, right? Mm -hmm. So this carrot's excellent compared to the pig stomach.
As they say in cartoons, a dibba 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 dibba, that's all, folks. <laughs>